What's going on guys, Sam here. And in today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about some of the changes that are going on with Quixel Megascans and Unreal Engine and Fab. So there's a lot of different stuff going on, but what I wanna talk about is mostly Quixel Megascans. So the big development recently is that Quixel Megascans is no longer going to be free in 2025. Now there are a couple of details about that statement that I wanna get into. So the first thing is that up until 2025, Quixel Megascans is still going to be 100% free for Unreal Engine users. So Quixel is a huge selling point for a lot of people to use Unreal Engine because it's free. There's like almost 19,000 assets on there. They're all very, very high quality photo scan assets. And so it essentially democratizes the ability to be able to create high quality photorealistic scenes inside of Unreal Engine. And so it's very important to a lot of people that this stuff is free. Uh, so the fact that they are going to start charging for it is a little bit scary to a lot of people. So in this video, I want to show you guys how you can actually move all of those assets into your personal library so that you don't have to worry about them charging for it. You can actually keep access to those assets in the future, even after they're migrated over to fab. But before we actually get into all that stuff, I just want to kind of make sure that we're looking at this from the right perspective here because Epic Games has provided a ton of amazing and incredible technology and it's developed so so rapidly over the past few years and they've been providing it 100% free especially for filmmakers they haven't been seeing any sort of returns on that over the past how many years and they've developed this technology so rapidly and then you also have youtubers and, and people making courses about how to use Unreal Engine and which is great but it's also growing that community of people using it for free who aren't necessarily making huge projects but they're using up resources and, and Epic Games is using up a lot of resources to put Push this technology forward and they're not seeing any sort of return on that from that customer base. So it is understandable why they are adding pricing models for some of these assets and, and some of their technology. Because at the end of the day, ultimately they are a business, they do have to make some money. And so I think it's really important for us as people who have benefited from this technology directly for so many years and haven't paid a dime for it to kind of show a little bit of loyalty and appreciation for that work and effort that they've put in. I think they've been more than fair and so I just want you guys to keep that in mind moving forward. So with that being said, let's actually get into the tutorial. What we want to do here is I'm going to show you how you can use a script that was created to purchase all of the assets. Now they're free so you don't actually have to pay anything for them but it's simply adding them to your account as if you had purchased them but they are once again free. Okay so we're going to quixel.com slash megascan slash collections and you can see that they're already uh, letting us know that everything is moving over to fab. We can get out of this. What we want to do here is sign into our account and what we're going to do is run a script on this page that is going to purchase all of these assets and once again and they're free so you're not actually buying anything so we're gonna sign in here with Epic Games uh, it already has my information so we're good to go once you've signed in make sure you sign in through Epic Games that way it knows that everything is gonna be free for you and now what we want to do is we have this script page open here and it has these instructions laid out for you right here there is instructions and then also this common issues here this is uh, this forbidden error is highly likely to happen so I'll let you guys know how to handle that it's just essentially going to be waiting 10 to 20 minutes and then restarting the script. So it's got these really handy common issues and then also how to restart the script and it's got a change log as well of updates that they've added. So all we really need is to go in here to the raw and that's going to give us the actual script so we can hit control A on this page and then control C or just right click and click copy. And we're gonna go over here to our Quixel Megascans and make sure that we're logged in once again to our account. And we're gonna hit F12. And we're gonna make sure that we navigate to the console tab over here. And this is where we can actually run our script. So we're just gonna hit control V. Okay, and it's gonna give us this little warning that says please type allow pasting below and hit enter to allow pasting. So I'm gonna hit allow pasting hit enter and now we can hit control V it's going to paste that script in here and all we have to do is hit enter and it's going to prompt us with a little script here that says click OK to start adding 18,447 assets so it should hopefully give you the proper number what's going on here is I've already added 300 some assets 
in my account. So I'm guessing it's because uh, I've already added those items. So we're just gonna click okay. And it's going to go ahead and get started adding these items into my account. Okay, so it looks like we've run into an issue here. This is kind of hanging as it's called. So what we're gonna do is clear the console. And we're just gonna repaste this in here and run it again. So before you would actually have to update the start page, but it now understands and can check what you've already downloaded. So we don't actually have to do that. We just have to rerun the script. We're gonna hit enter and it's going to prompt us again. We're gonna hit okay and it's gonna check. So it's already page three, page four, we're all good to go, page five, and it's gonna start again on page five, starting on page six, and now we're downloading once again. So I don't remember how many pages there are. I think there's 19 pages. Yeah, it says page 11 out of 19. So if you can get through all of these, that's fantastic. But if it does stop or if it gives you an, some sort of error, just clear the console and then rerun the script and you should be good to go. Okay, your account now has a total of 18,876 out of, yeah. Okay, so we're good to go. If you find some items are missing, try refreshing the page and run the script again. Let's check in my purchase tier, but let me get out of my dev tools. And by the way, this is the dev tools. So if you click up here and then go to more tools, and then go down to developer tools. And I, I'm running Chrome right now. Chrome, I think, tends to work pretty well with this stuff, so I recommend using Chrome, but that's how you can get into your developer tools, or you can hit F12 or Control Shift I. So I'm gonna refresh my page. Okay, so it's, it's a, it gave me this 403 forbidden error. That's going to happen most likely just because of the number of requests that we're putting into the server. So once again, we're just gonna have to wait like 10 to 20 minutes and then we can go in and check our account and see how many assets we have purchased in our purchased folder then we should be good to go. And if there are any missing, you can go back, reload it, and run the script again, and hopefully it'll pick up those missing assets. Otherwise, you can go through and manually try to find them. All right, guys, so you can see here that I've reloaded the page, and if I go into my purchased category right here, you can see that it says 18,876 assets. That's all of the assets that they have available on Quixel Megascan, so if I scroll down here, I can go into my 3D assets, anything anyone could possibly ever need for building a scene. So if you wanna learn more about Unreal Engine and filmmaking in Unreal Engine, we have a bunch of courses over on the boundlessresource.com website. We have the Unreal Engine for Filmmakers course, which will take you from beginner to pro in 10 days, creating films, animated films, CGI, visual effects, green screen, all of that stuff. And we also have the Next Gen Filmmaker course, which is a course about pre-visualization. It's great for cinematographers, DPs, filmmakers, directors. It allows you to essentially plan out your lighting, composition, blocking, all of that stuff inside of Unreal Engine before you arrive on set using 3D scanned real environments that you can capture on an iPhone. And we also have a free Unreal Engine beginner course if you wanna get started quickly for free and learn how to use this amazing software. And then we also, of course, have our amazing Lightforge plugin, which I want to point out is coming out with a new version very soon. I think you guys are going to love it. It's got lighting presets, the ability to export actual lighting setups and move them and migrate them into different projects. A lot of features related to optimizing your scenes and your lighting, as well as some brand new render presets. So it's really doubling or tripling down on what we've already created. And I can't wait to get that out to you guys. I think you're going to love it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to get updates on all that, all the new products coming out, as well as free videos like this that we love creating just to serve the community and helping you guys out. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one.